David says, how would you approach link building for location and service pages for local sites? Uh, I already built out the G site, Google business posts, citations and social profiles, but location pages are on page two, looking to work out a way I can keep powering these up each month for my local clients. Okay. So um, I've talked a lot about this recently in the mastermind, but um, you know, there's, there's kind of two different ways to build internal linking structure in a site. Um, for most of my local SEO career or my SEO career, whatever you want to call it, I've done a bottom up approach in internal linking. And there's a very specific reason why I've done that for all these years until recently, um, which I've switched to what I call a top down approach. So there's the bottom up approach and the top down approach in the way that you do your internal linking in a site. So when, if you're building a silo, a site with silo structure, then again, if in this, I, I'm not going to go, guys, this is a hump day hangouts. This is kind of stuff that I go into with diagrams and draw that shit out and snag it and all that stuff in mastermind webinars. But when you're, when you're dealing with the silo structure, when I talk about a, a bottom-up approach, that would be like published. And, and, and this is why I started doing the bottom-up approach it was because many years ago, like back in 2011, when I got first introduced to IFTTT through a WSO, some of you know what I'm talking about, Warrior Special Offer. It was a PDF by David Kosick. It was like seven bucks and it was called Link Automatic or something like that. And it was it was basically... It introduced me to IFTTT way the fuck back then. I mean, way back then. And I used, I learned, I, I started, I, you took that $7 PDF and I created what is now Syndication Academy. At the time, it wasn't a product. It was just what I used in my own local SEO. This is before Semantic Mastery, everything else, before I even met these guys. Um, and I built IFTTT syndication networks using Web 2.0 properties. And it would work like gangbusters for local SEO. Like all I had to do was build a syndication network, Web 2.0 profiles, connect them to my RSS feed for my clients' money sites. Uh, just take my clients' RSS feeds, plug them in IFTTT. And then all I would do is publish content on their blog, their money site blog, keyword optimized content, targeting, you know, the different keywords and, and locations and such. That content would then syndicate out the posts Right. So here's the thing. And this is what we teach in Syndication Academy still, even though it's not really much about syndication anymore. Um, the post that we would publish would have an internal link that would be pointing up to the pages, the landing pages on the site that we would want to rank. So those are the location or uh, the lead gen landing pages. Right. So the top, usually top level product or service pages. So the blog posts were supporting articles within a particular silo that would link up to the top of silo page. And by doing that, by publishing content, blog content, syndicating out across syndication network with an internal link in the content pointing up to the page that I wanted to rank, then it would automatically create backlink social signals and bookmarks directly to the, the post. Yes, but there would all, but that since it was a republished post on all these different sites, the, the internal link within the post body of the original post was still present. So I would get automatic backlinks not only to the original post through the attribution link that we would code into the bottom of, well, at the time in the RSS feeds, it was code, you know, you could code attribution into the feed output. Um, you still can with some, but you can also code that into the IFTTT. It used to be called recipe, but now it's an applet. Anyway, all I'm saying is you would get an attribution link that links to the original source. So that would be a link directly to the blog post itself, the blog post URL. But then you would also have the internal link from within the post body of the blog post, they would link up to the top level, the top of silo page, which is what you really want to rank, right? Um, and so doing that would be automatic backlinks, bookmarks, and social signals to both the blog post and to the money site page that I wanted to rank, okay? And so that's why why I always call that a bottom-up approach is because we're always we're going down to the lowest level, the longest tail keywords. That's what the blog post would be optimized for that we would publish on the money site blog supporting keywords, long tail supporting keywords that would support the top level term that the top of silo page was optimized for. Okay. You understand all that? So I have spent, and, and it, that's all I would do for the first, I don't know, three years from like 2011 till about 2014. That was damn near all I had to do. Create syndication networks and then just start blogging on my clients' sites. And it would just 
boom, we would rank all day long. And it was just, it was beautiful. And um, so eventually in 2014, Semantic Mastery formed, we ended up launching what was called IFTTT SEO. And then we got a cease and desist order from the attorneys at IFTTT that said, stop using our name. So we changed Syndication Academy. But the reason I bring that up is because the bottom up approach was always targeting the long tail keywords and starting to build links from the from those, right? In hopes that we could flow link equity and relevance and build it up to the top level term, right? So you understand a bottom up approach is always starting at the lowest level, the longest tail keywords, right? The low competition stuff. And you would start optimizing that. Why do I bring that up? Well, because local pages, publishing a bunch of geo pages, is the same thing. It's the same kind of process where now you've got, you're targeting real low competition stuff that probably doesn't have much search volume or any search volume, but it's it's about building relevance from the bottom up, right? That's the whole point of doing geo pages is you're adding, you're building local relevance at a very granular level. And if you do your internal linking and everything properly, then that will, that relevance will flow up to the higher competition stuff and help it to rank. So that's what I call a bottom-up approach, okay? That's very difficult to do when you're talking about link building, unless you're just doing bulk span links, which I don't do any of that at all anymore, zero of it. So when you're talking about getting higher quality or, or placing or building higher quality links, there's an expense to that, time and or money or both, right? So there's a time and or money, right? Um, and so it can be, it's not, cost effective to build a whole bunch of links to geo pages. And oftentimes it's not necessary anyway. So what is the top down approach? The top down approach is the other way. In other words, the internal linking of the site is starting at the top level, the homepage, and generally through just the navigation links, there's going to be at the you know navigation menu, there will be the top of silo pages. And then at the, the top of silo pages, then link down from there to its supporting pages. So if there's subcategories, then it would link down to the subcategory pages. And on each subcategory page, it would link down to the supporting posts within each subcategory. So it's the reverse, the inverse of what I just described. Instead of building from the links from the bottom up and following, like I'm talking about building internal links from the bottom up and then starting with your link building at that lowest level, meaning building links to those posts, those supporting posts within a silo. That's the bottom up approach. The top down approach is the inverse of that, right? So that is building your internal linking structure from the top down, right? To where ultimately the last link flows from a uh, silo to a supporting article within that silo, a supporting post within that silo. And then building, why, why, can, why, do I, why have I switched to that? Well, because again, if, especially if you structure your site properly, you're going to have in your URLs, right, you're going to have different levels of your within your silo structure. So even if you're using a simple silo, but to, what's the difference? A simple silo or complex silo. A simple silo is top, there's root domain, then there's the top of silo pages. So the top level product and service pages that you mirror a category in WordPress taxonomies, right? Posts and categories and tags, right? That's kind of the taxonomies in, in WordPress. You, you create a category that it mirrors your top of silo pages on your money site. So in my example, I don't do this anymore, but like, um, well, I, I have some recent examples where I still was testing with that, but tree service is a top level term, okay? Let's say tree trimming is a service and tree removal is a different service. They're really synonymous. They're all, all three of those are synonymous, but that, just to keep things simple, let's just use this ex as the example. Say that the homepage is optimized for tree service. Then let's say I have two product service page, service pages on the site, one for tree removal and one for tree trimming. Does that make sense? So a top of silo page would be tree removal. Another top of silo page would be tree trimming. Then I would go, and I'm talking about regular pages. Then I would go into categories in WordPress and create a tree trimming category, a tree removal category. Now the URL is different. We're talking about a category archive page versus a regular page, right? So Domain.com slash tree removal, that's the page. Domain.com slash category slash tree removal would be the category archive page. Do you understand? But then what you do is redirect that category URL to the actual page. Now you can go in in a simple silo structure and you create supporting posts, not pages, but posts. 
and place them directly into that tree removal category. That's a simple silo structure because it's root domain, the first layer, first level of internal linking or internal pages are going to be top level pages with mirrored category pages that are redirected to the top level pages. It's corresponding top level page. Then you place supporting articles posts, supporting posts within the tree removal category and all of the linking and even the taxonomy structure, the categories, because they're redirected to the page, all of that kind of flows up or uh, within that particular silo. That's why it's called a silo, right? Silo structure, because you create a silo, a topical silo. Um, so what I'm saying is that is a simple silo structure. Okay. So that is at the, at the deepest level, you're two level, two hops from the root domain, from the home page. Do you understand? So the deepest level would be supporting articles. That would be root domain slash category slash post. So that's the third level, right? Two levels removed or away from the root domain, the home page. A complex silo structure is three levels away from the home page because it's top level cat top level page uh, with a corresponding category page. Then there's a child uh, subcategories with corresponding uh, child pages, right? And then ultimately posts, supporting posts, which are three levels deep now, right? Because then you have root domain. First level is top, top category or parent category. Next level is subcategory. Those are still pages. Then when you finally get to supporting posts, blog posts, those are going to be three levels deep. So that's the difference between a um, simple silo and a complex silo. Now, I wanted to kind of educate you guys that didn't know that uh, as to what the difference is, because if you are using a physical silo or even if it's virtual and what's the difference between that? Again, guys, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to confuse you guys, but the difference between a physical silo and a virtual silo is the permalink structure in WordPress. If you can see the hierarchy in the URL, that's called a physical silo structure, meaning that's the category slash post name uh, permalink structure in WordPress. If you go into WordPress and you select custom and per go to permalink settings, permalinks, go to custom and then you add the category. So forward slash percent category percent slash then percent post name percent slash, right? So category post name, you create, you add that as your permalink structure. And then when you look at the silo, you can see the hierarchy in the URL, right? So if you're looking at a complex silo structure with a physical silo setup, then you're going to see at the post level, you're going to see all of the categories in between the, you'll see the post slug at the end of the URL, then you'll see the subcategory. Then on the other side of that slash, you'll see the category. And on the other side of that slash, you'll see the domain. Uh, a virtual silo, you can accomplish the exact same thing with a virtual silo. The difference is virtual silo is post name only in permalinks. And so that means you just don't see the hierarchy in the URL. It's all still there. If you go into WordPress code and taxonomies, it's all still there, but it's only displaying root domain slash post name, slug, post slug, if that makes sense. Um, but why I bring that up is because if you have a, I've switched, I for years I did bottom up approach and I did, I tried to stick with uh, simple silos as much as possible, not complex silos, because as the name implies, complex silos add complexity to the site build and management. And so I prefer to go with simple silos as much as possible. But I used to use nothing but virtual silos because I always like the shorter URL. And I would always try to do a simple silo structure. More recently, because of all the geo page work, the local page work that I'm doing, which I've been demonstrating in the mornings, you guys can go see that shit for free at twitch.com or twitch.tv slash Bradley Benner. Um, but I've been building a whole bunch of geo pages. So I've switched to get back to the original question. I know I've gone a long time on this, guys, but I think this is incredibly important. Because I get this question a lot, by the way, about how do we power up all our geo pages, our local pages, when you have dozens and sometimes hundreds of them. It's very difficult to build links to those unless you're doing bulk spam, which I don't ever recommend. So I'm getting to a point here. And that is with now I've switched to going with a top down approach instead of a bottom up approach. And then I'm using physical silo. And then a lot of times now I'm doing complex silos where, again, so I've shifted my entire strategy completely over the last you know six months or so. Um, no kidding. After years and years and years of building all my sites one way, I've completely changed and done. Now I'm doing the opposite. I'm doing the bottom top down approach and, and I'm using physical silo structure in the permalinks. That way there's different directories 
in the URL, like folders, directories, whatever you want to call them. There's different optimization points in the URL that we can push link equity and relevance to. And think about that, guys. Now, think of whether it's a simple silo structure or a complex silo structure, if you build it right top down, you're going to have hub pages that are linking out to all of your sub pages, your geo pages, right? And so that's your link building target. Because if you have all of your geo pages linked to from a higher level page, right, this higher up in the in the in the in the pecking order, right, the higher in the hierarchy, then you hit that page with links, and it will power up, flow down, top down approach. It will flow down to all those geo pages, and therefore that's how you get much more. You you get you make your dot. You can stretch your budget further that way, right, or make your budget more effective because you're not trying to build links to a bunch of geo pages and hope that the link equity and relevance flows up. You can still do all of that. What I'm saying is I use, I, I still build all the geo pages um, and have the geo pages linking up to wherever I'm trying to push relevance from, from the, from the page. But as far as link building is what I'm talking about, link build from at the kind of hub pages or the, the directory pages is what I like to call them that are linking down if you're doing a top-down approach, which is, what, which is what I recommend specifically for the reason this question was asked. How do I power up all my local pages? You do that through the money site, through the money site on the kind of, if you build your structure right, you can power up those directory pages and it's going to power everything up below it. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I want to diagram this out, but if I do that, well, I won't have any time for other, any other questions. So um, anyway. Uh, hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying. Let me just, I, I do have to pull it. I just, I can't do that. I cannot not do this because it would bug me that I didn't give a proper answer. And I want you, because I know some of you guys probably are confused as shit. I just tried to explain everything conceptually. And sometimes it, with the kind of more advanced topics, it's easier just to see it, right? So if I just say domain.com slash, let me zoom in on this. You guys can see it. Um, so I'm just going to use an example. Okay. So tree, sir, you know what? Why not? Fuck it. Let's just show a real example. Would you guys rather just see a real example? I bet you would. All right. So here's an example that I've been doing on Twitch. Um, so to kind of explain this here, guys. So let me just, I'll, I'll duplicate this. Hopefully you guys, is this, is this helpful? Should I continue this or should I just start answering other questions? I'd like to hear some comments or see some comments and face YouTube. Not enough people watching apparently. Never mind. I'll just do it anyway. <laughs> so anyway, guys, let's take a look at this for a second. So here is what I'm talking about with directory pages, right? So here's a top level service page. Okay. So that's, that's an optimization point right there. Do you understand? If, if you take a look at here, if we scroll down, you'll see down here at the bottom, I've got service area pages linked to here. So for example, if we open up this one here. Take. I want you guys to see this. I'm going to stack these URLs so that you can see these. I got a yes, continue, yes, continue. Okay, I got a few. So that's all I needed to hear. Okay. Now let's go down a little bit further. So we're on the Pennsylvania page now. And so you guys understand what I'm talking about, top down approach versus bottom up approach. I want you to see the linking. I'm, I'm gonna go through each one of these steps in just a moment again in sequential order so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But think about, think about link equity flowing in one direction. That's that's the way you want to think about it, right? So if you think about link equity flowing again, either top down or bottom up approach for my almost my entire career up until about six months ago, I'm not kidding. I always did the bottom up approach. Now I've completely inversed it and I'm doing the top down approach specifically because of geo pages. Okay, so uh, let's go into a, an, a location page. Back, let me go into another one. Let's go into this one. Okay. So you guys are seeing this now. Do you understand how we're stacking the hierarchy here? But it's it's flowing from the top down. All right. And we still can go one more deeper. Okay. Now, typically I do this on subdomains. Um, this particular site, I don't have, I'm waiting on Yaks to, uh, Jesper uh, Yaks to, um, Fix some the the token system in order to create use yaks to create subdom uh geo pages on a subdomain using the token system it doesn't work 
the way it's currently is the way that I want it to. So I had a call with Jesper last week uh, on Monday and um, told him about what it was that I was trying to do. And he said he would program that in, but it's it's in queue. So anyway, what I'm saying is I, I the first two locations in Pennsylvania here, I'm waiting on Yaks to, te- to do that with the lo- uh, geo pages on a local subdomain. Um, these are done via tags instead. So like, for example, if I just copy this here, this is this is just a geo page. It's kind of a kind of a quick and kind of backhanded way that I did uh, to create geo pages without having the subdomain pages available yet. And that's only because Yaks can't do what I want it to do just yet. It will in a couple of weeks. So anyway, um, so just consider this tag here as a local uh, as a geo page, right? So this would be what you call uh, a supporting a supporting geo page or post, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I'll, I'll put that on its, on another line first so that it makes a little bit of sense. Okay, typically I would have this as a subdomain. So for example, just so you know, let me just go back real quick and then I'll get to a point here, guys. It, um, I've got this same kind of setup here like this. Local.fellingpro.tree service Westchester right there. Um, and these are going to be, and then the, so Westchester, let's just grab one of the neighborhoods. So we'll say Dilworth Town right there. This is actually how this will look on H, uh, subdomain HTML pages once I have that built. But what I'm trying to say here is you can see that this will be the subdomain supporting page. That's the, again, the bottom up approach. The subdomain supporting geo page will have a link that will be linking up to its the the city page on the site, the money site. Do you understand? This is a subdomain. So this will be an HTML page on a subdomain uh, that I for local dot filling or whatever subdomain I, I, I name it. It will be on this here. And this will be an HTML page that ha- Dilworth is a neighborhood within Westchester, Pennsylvania. So at the lowest level, that page will link up to its corresponding money site page, which is the top level city page that I want to rank. Do you understand? I don't give a shit whether this ranks or not. It it will, will probably rank because it's probably not very competitive uh, at all, but it's about building relevance up to the page that I do want to rank, which is this one. But getting back to the original question about link building. So let's just forget about that. That was just a backhanded way to do what I wanted to do while I'm waiting for the geo pages to, uh, or excuse me, for Yaks to um, program what I need in, in order for it to work. So that's coming. But what I'm saying here, guys, is if we see this now, here are different points here, right? I can build links to this page here, and it's going to power up the top level state pages. This is what you call a complex silo structure, guys. This is a top level category. This is a subcategory. This is a post. So this geo page is actually a Google, or excuse me, a WordPress post. Do you understand? Um, So again, this is a complex silo structure. If I if it wasn't a multi-state project, if this was only for Pennsylvania, this brand, this project was only going to be for Pennsylvania, then I would omit this and, and instead have a simple silo structure instead of a complex silo. Simple silo is top level category supporting posts. Do you understand? So we could omit the subcategory, which is the state. So if you understand what I've done here is I've got the tree service, which is just the services page. Again, like if guys, look at the title tag of this page. It's services dash brand name, right? I'm not trying to rank this page. What I'm trying to rank are these pages, the city pages, right? That's what's going to get me the leads, these pages. So, or this page, right? So what I'm saying is this, these are just kind of like navigational pages. But what I'm saying is like in Pennsylvania, for example, we've only, like, if I go back to the uh, Pennsylvania page, that's this one here. So now in Pennsylvania, currently I've only got, and I got this one image that's off. I got to fix that. But currently there's only four, there's one, we're count, we're targeting one county and all four cities are in that one county. Okay. They're the, the four most pop, densely populated cities within Chester County, Pennsylvania. So this right here is a page that I can hit with topic, topical key anchors. Well, brand anchors always start with brand, but I could hit this with brand anchors. I could hit this with topic anchors. So tree service, tree removal, tree trimming, tree pruning, arborist stump grinding, all that kind of shit, right? And it's going to push relevance down because the internal links are flowing from the top level down. 
You understand? So again, on the Pennsylvania page, I can build brand anchors, topic anchors, and it's going to flow down to the city pages that I want to rank. So then I go to the city page and the city page, I can start hitting with brand anchors, topic anchors. So topic anchors are key with product and service keywords. So tree care, tree trimming, tree removal, stump grinding, arborist consulting, tree clearing, et cetera. And I can also start hitting this with target anchors, keyword plus location modifier, because aren't all of these, think about this guys, all of these areas here, these are all supporting geo pages for the Westchester city, right? So these are like neighborhood pages, basically, um, if that makes sense. So the point that I'm trying to make is if I build links to the Westchester page, I can build target anchors as well as I, again, always start with brand anchors and then I can build some topic anchors. That's all the keywords up here that you're looking at, right? Uh, here. And then I can build target anchors, target anchors. So tree service, Westchester, tree trimming, Westchester, West Westchester tree removal. And all of that is relevant even to power up these geo pages, these neighborhood pages, right? Because these are all neighborhoods within Westchester. So that's how you power all that stuff up when you, and, and you're really focusing your budget, your link building budget on the pages that you want to rank this way. But it's through your internal linking that you're directing the link equity and the relevance down all the way down ultimately to the bottom level pages, the uh, neighborhood pages. So again, like I said, guys, I used to always do it the other way around. I would always start with the bottom level pages and all of my links would flow from the lowest level up to the homepage eventually. Um, and I've completely inversed that now 100%, 180 degrees. Now I'm, I'm doing everything this way, specifically for what I just described. We can build links here, brand, almost, a, almost exclusively brand anchors there. We can build brand and topic anchors here. We can build brand and topic anchors here with some high level, broad geo modifiers, which would be make those target anchors, but very sparingly at this point. Then at this point, now we talk about brand anchors, topic anchors, and target anchors. Do you understand? And then at the lowest level, which would be this level, this links up to its corresponding page, right? The, so the, again, Dilworth Town is a neighborhood within Westchester. So we link from this page, an internal link. I would call it an internal link, but if this is on a, a, a subdomain, it's not really an internal link, right? Um, but we link up to that doesn't matter the point because we're so that's a reciprocal well again it's not the same domain it, it's a subdomain versus a domain but the point that i'm trying to make is we're linking down from the money site page to the geo page and then the geo page is linking back up to the money site page to push geographic relevance if that makes sense so anyway hopefully that was clear i know that was a really long way to get to a, an answer but that was a really good question because this has come up a lot recently i've had a lot of people ask me this question so thought this was a good opportunity to uh, create a clip out of this that I can then just send to people when they ask that question. So was that helpful? Very useful. Yes. Uh, so anyway, I just want to double check one thing. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. Again, I, I recommend a uh, internal linking structure from the top down now, if you're going to be doing a bunch of geo pages, which is what I'm, I'm doing a lot of that work right now. It works really well. Um, yeah, it works well. And then I found that this is just a very good strategy. Um, and when you combine both the topically relevant links, as I've been teaching about for 15 months now, and uh, also locally relevant links, this is where you can take those local PBN links and you can actually link to these supporting geo pages or neighborhood pages, whatever you want to call them. Uh, with And that has a link up to its corresponding city page. So the local links are good for that. And they're also good at this level. Um, again, I'm, this is a complex silo because it's a multi-state project. If it was a single state project, I would make it a simple silo and I would eliminate this and it would just go to directly to the city. So it would be tree service slash Coatesville, right? Tree service slash Westchester. And that the, it would still be posts at this level, but it would only be one category, top, top level category, not parent categories and child categories or top level categories and subcategories, right? It would just be top level category and in supporting posts. Okay. So anyway. All right, cool.